Hey guys, um, I've often been in situations where I've wanted to do a compression test on things like, well, this go-kart engine for instance, and wished I had a way to spin the engine up um, more consistently. And an impact driver doesn't really do a good job of it and runs the risk of shearing things that you don't want to shear. So what I often am pining for is I'm pining for an adapter that will allow me to use a 3 8 inch drive socket in my electric drill. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and make one of those with the uh, uh, help of an old, this is an old no-name cheapo 3 8 extension. And so my plan is I want to see whether or not I can get this part off and then turn this chromed area off of here okay and see if we can't get a rough enough surface so the drill grabs it easily and if that doesn't do such a great job what I could even do is maybe I could use uh, like my spin indexer or something over there in the milling machine and put some flats on it so that the chuck the three jaw chucks uh, the three jaws of the drill chuck can grab it better but for starters, I want to see whether or not I can get this off of here. Now, I don't know um, what the status of this metal is going to be. It's probably... I, I'm thinking this might actually end up being a complete fail right off the bat. But I figure I've got a carbide insert. Let's just see just how tough this thing is. Uh, the insert, that is. And, well, this, right? Like Stevie Ray Vaughan said, tough enough? Oh, was that actually his brother? Yeah, actually, I think that was Stevie's brother on a different album. All right, let me get a nice close-up there so you can see the carnage ensue. Yeah, I think this is going to work, but I actually and I'm getting a little close there on the clearance. I'm getting ready to interfere with the chuck jaws. Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to I'm going to let this hang out a little bit further than I'd like. There. question is, are the walls of that so thin now that if I put it in a drill chuck that it's going to crush? I think it, it's really thin here, so I think I'm just going to take that whole section where the socket is and uh, I'll take that all the way off. <laughs> Getting closer now to what I want. There's a step in diameter from here to here, so this is actually only this wide. I want this to be a wider area to grab onto with the drill chuck, so I'm going to bring this out even further so I can make that area a little wider. pretty rough finish and I'm actually happy about that because I think that's going to help the chuck and my drill grab that. <laughs> <laughs> 